Good readings and welcome, fellow Dragon Knights, to another episode of Let's Play Divinity 2. Right, more questing in the Broken Valley. Picking up the stray ingredients and seeing whatever else Belagar can cook up, cook, up, yeah, cook up for us at this point. Because he does seem to be the driving force behind most of the madness in this place. Pretty sure I just saw a chest somewhere. Well, maybe not. It doesn't matter. Ooh, some iron ore though. Let's take it. gentlemen for they're your last you would be wise to take your own counsel we are not the easy victims you take us for the truth or untruth of that statement shall soon be decided but what's this another player joins this little scene and who might you be Rufalon newest dragon knight at your surface <laughs> I'm honored to finally meet the court jester tell me jester who will you be siding with today well, not your group of lowly brigands, if that's what you're wondering. Soldiers, have at them. Find a cure. This poison is killing me. Ha <laughs> ha! We won! Well done! Ha ha ha! We won. Praise the divine. If it weren't for you, stranger. Well, I'm not a highwayman, but I do expect compensation for my pains. I am a businessman, so I understand only too well. Take this purse of gold. It's the least one can do. We will be on our way now, but one hopes we shall see you again in the Black Boar. The drinks are on us. I'll right, we'll just take the experience again. And what was this about a quest that was failed? Daylight robbery. Yeah, well. You can choose to side with whoever you like. I don't particularly care for the bandits, but, you know, I can understand why they are around. Alright, still not very good for that. I think I'll get my strength up to 50 and then start boosting my vitality some more, because it's starting to really lag behind at this stage, and I would like to not die from simple enemies. These men were fortunate indeed to meet a paladin in their hour of need. Let us hope that those who haunt the Maxos Temple will benefit from your might as well. You're still on that. Hmm. Alright, well, let's uh, finish checking out the fortune teller for well, as much as we can pump from her. And then we'll head over to the bandit camp, I think. Uh, let's check out Belagar after that first, though. Make sure that we got his reward. Whatever that may be. I fully expect Belagar to give us a spoon. Spoon. You have met your fortune, as I predicted. Perhaps you'd like me to reveal more. I would like you to read my fortune again. You know the price. 
Here you go. Good. Let us look once more at what the future holds. I see a warrior on a bridge, clad in strong armor. He will challenge you to a duel, the outcome of which is up to you. May fortune smile upon you. Yes. This is indeed a very cryptic uh, instruction. Although we have already met the bridge in question with our, which I was sort of expecting an encounter on, but failed to remember that I actually needed to do this first. So now we get to go this road in reverse. I mean, the bridge isn't all that too far away, but there's no convenient fast travel points, I think. No, it might be this bridge, I don't know. No, it's not this bridge. Ooh, did I pick up this iron? Did not pick up this iron. Well, so luckily only out of one bridge near here, so... And someone is standing on it this time around. Alright, let's see what he has to say. Walk no further, traveller. We shall not move from here until one of us will have emerged victorious from our duel. In Seth's mind is only the image of his sword, Brightblade, and how he'll vanquish you with it. Hmm. And who are you that you should challenge passing wanderers? I am Seth, an old knight who, in a war-torn land, seeks battle still. Hmm. Then I won't disappoint you. Ready? I am ever ready for combat. Good luck, Slayer. And we get Bright Blade, which is unfortunately a one-handed sword. But as a one-handed sword, it is very good. And you'll probably want it. Right. Back to the fortune teller and see if she's got another fortune for us. Momentarily distracted by a kitten, I wander off into the nearest pond. But luckily this is all here, because I figured the bandits must have also had similar problems. Although of course this could be a way to hide stuff from me. Those little outcroppings. But uh, I don't think they've done that, so... Let's just stay focused. And ever ready. Hmm. You know what would be really nice right now? Having a set of wings to travel. Yes, that would be nice. Wing, so I can just flap and not have to press endless buttons to get anywhere. I mean, I'd still have to press the button to become a dragon, but you know, not really a most pressing concern. 
You have met your fortune, as I predicted. Perhaps you'd like me to reveal more. I would like you to read my fortune again. You know the price. Good. Let us look once more at what the future holds. I see you in the sky above the valley. You will behold the lands like no one but the eagle has. Bye for now, madame. May fortune smile upon you. Well, technically this will be true at some point or another. Alright, let's go and see what Belagar has for us. And then head over to the bandits den so we can have some fun over there. And after that I may have to do some inventory management and uh, enchantment and weapon selling off screen because that's not really either interesting nor relevant. Actually which shrine would be closest to where Belagar is? Because we need to get over there so the, the shrine closest would be the tribal shrine? Yeah. I don't think I've missed that, but did plants regrow? Or did it just not come quite up this way? Quite possible. I mean Shiny. Well, I'm pretty sure a vein stays in mind, but plants I will believe that they might regrow. Hmm. All right. What trap is this gonna be, Belagar? You killed my minions one by one. So now for the riches, you think, and then we're done. But there's no reward in my wizard's den. Instead, you can fight them all again. So please go away, and I'll give you some of this useless, shiny yellow stuff. Let's hope that was the last we saw of that rhyming psychotic. Yay. Another one to add to the collection. I mean, of course he couldn't give it to me in nice, easy ways to pick the stuff up. But you know... Kind of cute getting all this stuff. Another one to add to the collection. All right. Let's level up.
Right. You're pretty unfit and overreact to the slightest of hurts. However strong and dexterous you may be, your weak constitution undermines your efficacy as an adventurer. Yeah. My strength has not gotten a new word, a new uh, description yet, but let's just focus on getting the hit points going now. Hmm. Well, jump attack is a past skill. Let's just focus on making my two handed weapons better. I mean, that'll benefit me more in the long run. Alright, let's see. Alright, let's head over to the uh, the bandit camp. Is there a shrine nearby? The quarry shrine is nearby, so let's use that. And we can also help uh, Eugene. What news, Slayer? Good news, I found a cure. Truly? Divine be praised. Ha ha! By Damien's nevers! He's done it! Come on, let's have that potion. Hmm, here you go. Down the hatch. Our mind, no, oh, my mind. It's clearing. Gone the madness, gone the jackal. I thought this nightmare would never end. Thank you, Slayer. And as promised, here's the Maniac's axe. You'll put it to better use than he ever did, I'm sure of it. I shall go now as far away from here as possible. May the gods lighten your path. He's a free soul. But at least with Jackal still controlling his axe arm, he stood a chance in the wilds. Yeah, that is a concern, but not my concern. So, let's just continue on. Actually, let's have a look at that axe. Does it have any enchantments? Hmm... Nope. That's a nice axe, I guess. Oh well, let's just head into the bandit camp and see what we'd rather have a quick and cause there. But we will do so next time.
Thank you all for watching.